Hi, this is NeedlePointers.com and today I would like to show you how to put these decorative bands on the bottom of some towels. The towels I have here I embroidered with my embroidery machine using patterns I have from Lunchbox Quilts. After using your machine to embroider the recipe towels, they look a lot like this. And you can see there's a lot of little jump um, strands on the towel. Um, what I usually do is go through and with my uh, curved scissors I clip these to remove them from the from the towel and I also on the back you'll have your um, I use when I do it I use the uh, wash away stabilizer so I will tear this away after I'm done embroidering and then I'll trim all these little strands that are the, from where it stopped sewing and just clean up the back so it looks nice. I don't do anything else to the back. Um, I feel that once it's like that then it looks decent enough for people to use the towels. Okay after I have um, cut all the jump strings, this one I'm not quite done with but I'll show you anyway, uh, and cleaned up the back, then the first step to adding the band on the bottom of the towel is to actually um, remove the seam from the bottom of the towel. So I'm using my seam ripper here and what I'll do is rip out the seam all the way across the bottom. Okay, I'm almost done taking out the bottom seam from this towel. So as you can see, I've now, this is the back of the towel, and now I've undone the whole bottom across and it can fold open. The other thing you need to do is take out about two inches up the side seam so that we can have a nice finished edge. In the end. Okay, so now I have the side seams open up about two inches on each side. And the next step to do is to press open the whole seam, every all the seams. So I'm gonna press this open, nice and flat. And press the whole side seam all the way out. And it will twist up up here, but that's fine because you're just going to be adding some stuff on the bottom. If you have to, to keep it flat, you can spray it with a little bit of water to get it steamed. And you don't have to worry about all the little holes. Um, the final step after you've done this, you know, added the border on the, the uh, band on the bottom is you're going to wash the whole towel and then you're going to have to repress it again. And during the washing of the towel, any of these little holes are going to close back up. So. Okay, so the fun part of making these towels is to actually pick out the fabric that you want to put on the bottom of the towels. Um, you know, I use mostly scrap fabric or fabric I have left over or whatever I have around the house. You only need um, two strips. Usually I use different colors. So for this Mama Yatsa's meatballs one, I plan on using uh, this red fabric that I have and because it goes with some of the red in there. And then since this has green, I decided to use this green. So you want a two strips of fabric, a thin strip, which is one inch wide by, um, and the length needs to be the width of your, your towel plus four inches. And then the bigger strip is two inches wide and the same length. Uh, you want it to, you know, two, four inches wider than the width of your uh, towel, whatever towel you have. For the sour cream cheesecake one, I decided to use um, a, a brown fabric that I had along with some red also, a darker red, um, because this one used a darker red color. Uh, the Mommy Miyata's Meat. Yatsa's meatballs was using more of a bright red color in its uh, pattern near the top here. So that's why I was using a more of a bright red fabric for that one. So 
So for the next step, I usually iron my two pieces of fabric nice and flat because um, I have to now sew them together and everything. Um, the small piece of fabric, you need to fold wrong sides together in half. So, and then you are in that. So I'm just gonna quickly fold it and iron this all down. So our next step is to add this strip to your wider fabric. So I'm going to sew it down here. So to sew this together I'm going to just line them up and I'm just going to sew them with white thread because this thread won't show. And you're using a quarter inch seam to sew this. Okay, after that I have now, this is my other one I had sewed together already for my sour cream coffee cake sublime towel. So I have the two sewed together and what I want to do now is I'm going to take not the right side but the wrong side of the towel. So you can see I'm on the back and I'm going to put the right side of the strip on the edge that is not does not have what you sewed on earlier, the small strip. So I want to put the free edge here again along, line it up with the bottom of the towel. Now if your towel isn't straight, if it wasn't straight when you unraveled it, you know, when you took out the stitches and rolled it out, you might need to um, use a straight edge and you know straighten that out. So again this is the so I'm taking the wrong side of the towel to the right side of the strip and I'm lining up the raw edge of the towel with the raw edge of the strip where I didn't sew the um, one inch strip onto. And then again, I'm going to use a quarter inch, se inch seam and sew this down. Alright, so now you can see I have the wrong side and this comes around, but what we're going to do is flip this around to the front so then it'll be all nice and finished. Okay, back at the ironing board, I have the wrong side of the towel up. And what I need to do now is um, iron this so that I can flip this around to the front. So I'm going to iron this down. And I didn't iron this part either at this point until now. So I'm going to iron this so that the seam, the seam is towards the two inch section. Sorry for blocking. Alright, so now I have that nice and flat. So now I'm going to flip my towel over. So now there's the front of the towel. And so I have the wrong side. And what I usually do, you know, I just flip it up like this. And you want it to be even across the bottom. And it's usually about an inch, what is it? An inch, not quite an inch and a half an inch and three eighths, it, you know, it depends on, you know, exactly how you sewed, you know, you sewed it on there. 
doesn't have to be exact, but you do want to make sure that you measure all the way across and that you're, you know, you make it even across the whole way. So this one is actually closer to an inch and two eighths. So what I do is just check all the way across. Looks like I'm about right. And then I can iron this flat. Okay. So you can see on the edge here, it's all opened up and I just and I ironed it all flat. So now we're going to go back to the sewing machine to do top stitching to stitch this down. Okay, so now I have threaded my machine with a matching thread to my main fabric, my two inch fabric, um, or you can use a complementary thread or something that matches. Uh, and I'm going to sew uh, a top stitch uh, close to the edge, the top edge here, oh, but I'm still sewing on the two inch fabric. Okay, so we want a second one to hold it down, to the uh, band down nicely. So I will top stitch a, the same amount from the edge to here. Um, so. Okay, now I finish my second top stitch along the edge here. And you can see it's nicely held down. Um, this isn't going to flip up or anything, you know, it will hold in place. Okay, the next step is to go over to your cutting area where you cut your fabric. And I have mine on my quilting, quilt cutting board. And I'm using my square and lining up one of the lines on the along the bottom. And then I'm going to cut off the side. The extra that's on the, that's hanging off the edge of these towels because we can't get all of that into the seam. And I'm going to do the same on this other side. The next step is going to be to fold the seams back in. Okay, so we have to prepare this, this side seam to be sewn back down. And what I usually do is I have to fold the seam twice, but I fold it once and then usually flip under the corner because I don't want the corner sticking out in the reel when it's finished. And you want to try to make sure you keep the same seam allowance that was there previously. So you can see I now have it folded over twice. And then I'm going to iron this down really good. To hold it in place. And you can put a pin in there if you'd like. Um, to hold it down, but you can usually fold it back over pretty easily. I'm going to do the other side and then meet you at the sewing machine. Okay, I still have my machine uh, threaded with my red thread that complements my um, the two inch strip. And I'm going to use that color to tack down this edge. You could just use white and go all the way down. Um, I just like to do it with the complementary color for the just the bottom band part. So I'm going to pack this down. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. Okay, so now I have the bottom parts tacked down, 
and I'll be back in a moment after I finish change the thread to white. Okay, so my last step is to just finish this um, part that I took out of the two inches of the, the side seam, uh, re-sew that back down with white thread. Um, of course, if you're using a brown towel, you would use matching thread um, for the towel, or what color they use to sew it down. I make sure I start a, a little bit where I didn't pull out the thread so I can tack down the threads where I stopped uh, pulling it out. I don't want those to come undone. And so that's the, that's it. It's now sewn down. I'll trim off these um, little ends, but the uh, bottom is all in the towel. Okay, so here's my finished towel, and I can fold it nice. And usually, I, you know, put a little ribbon around it, and decorate it, to decorate it. These make wonderful teacher gifts. Um, or hostess gifts for Christmas or any other holiday um, and oh I wanted to mention that I buy my uh, starting towel from a place on the internet called allaboutblanks.com and they sell these 100% cotton um, blank towels that you can use to sew to embroider the pattern onto if you're going to embroider the something like the uh, lunchbox quilts towels. So if you enjoyed this video please subscribe to us and uh, share our videos as much as you can and I hope to you come back and view some other videos.